Lucas Media. I made a video about this yesterday. Cam Newton getting jumped. And of course, YouTube uh, flagged it or whatever, made it to where you got to be 18 and demonetized it. But Shannon Sharp and Ultra Cinco had the same thing to say on Nightcap. I'm going to play a quick clip. And, you know, I can relate to everything that Shannon just said. I just don't, like I, like I said, I, I just grew up in a different time and era. My grandfather, man, look here. I, could, I couldn't even imagine the kind of ass whipping I would have got. Because, you know, back then, the, the, first of all, the people told your tail up and then took, took you home and say, Mary, I had to whip that boy. A barn, I had to whip that boy. He was saying such and such. And then you got it even worse when you got home. But see, the community used to police it. Yep, thank until you. Until all of a sudden we got, you know, we just, don't put your head on my child. Oh. I'm going to stop. I'm going to leave it right there. And then else to say, absolutely. My father was born in 1948. My grandma was born in 1920. I grew up with them in a the house. They weren't going for that. And my cousin, who, I mean, obviously she's 20 some years older than me. She whooped me when I was a kid. Then she called my father. And my father whooping my tail. I never thought, like, it, I can't fathom being a teenager challenging adults at his camp. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's all about giving back, right? Like, one of my cousins played in the NBA several years. I ain't going to say his name right now, but if I said him, y'all probably know who he is. And I could just imagine now this generation trying to fight him. Like, it just... There's no more community. This is what happens when there's no fathers in the homes. This is what happens when you can't discipline their kids. This is what happens when parents don't um, teach their kids and leave it up to school teachers when the school teachers got to teach 30 badass kids at one time per class. You know, Lost Generation Part 3. Honestly, this might be the video title of the video. It's sad, man. Like, And we keep asking... I don't understand why people still don't don't wonder why. Or we don't get it. It's like we know, but we don't care. You know, you know, we living up in an effed up situation, but it's like, oh, you can't say that to my son. You can't say that to my son. You know, then you got these old bootleg ass daddies walk around here making babies with everybody, but they ain't even there for their kids. You posting Gucci shoes and all that online, but you ain't posting your kids. You bragging about being a street ninja. Why don't you brag about being an active father? You know what I'm saying? So what you saw, what you saw is just a snapshot of how our community is going. And y'all can't tell me that our community is doing better than it was in the 1940s, 50s, and 60s with segregation.